Hey you guys, I'm Kim. Welcome to my little craft space. Today I'm working with some little charms I made using a few of my vintage valentines. I'm just putting some jump rings on them now. My plan is to make a charm bracelet with these, but I'm sure they would look great on loads of other things. Best of all, they were super fun to make. If you'd like to make some just like this, I'm going to take a break from my jump rings and I'll show you exactly how to do it. Then I'll meet you back here and I will show you some of the other things that I put on my charm bracelet. Okay, let's get started with supplies. First thing you'll need is some printable sheet plastic. This is kind of like the shrinky dink stuff. The brand I got came in all white, which is what I wanted, but you can also get this in a transparent type of plastic. I got this product from Amazon and you'll need the graphics. Just click the link in the description box below. It's totally free to download the graphics. They're going to look very light when you pull them up. That's okay. The color intensifies when the charms shrink. You'll need some scissors to cut the plastic with. You'll need a standard size hole punch and a scrap of paper. You'll need an oven, either a toaster oven or your standard oven will work. You'll need some scraps of parchment paper. You'll need something that can get hot and that is flat. You'll also need something heavy and flat for pressing the shrink plastic with. You'll need something like this clear spray or Mod Podge to seal the tops of your charms with. If you do want to do the UV resin coating, you'll of course need some UV resin. You'll also need some gloves, some index cards. You might want some tape and a few toothpicks. And then you'll need some sort of UV light, either from a flashlight or this little light came with my UV resin that I ordered from Amazon. Okay, I think that's it. Now we can get started. Start off by printing out the graphics onto the non-shiny side of the plastic. The ink should take a little while to dry, so be careful in handling it until it is completely dry. Once the ink is completely dry, you can begin to cut out your charms. I try to leave about an eighth of an inch of the white background around each of the charms. Also, try to handle the ink on the graphics as little as possible when you're cutting. It might be easy to scratch or make smudges on the surface of the charms at this point. Next, punch a hole where you want your charm to hang from. I use a piece of paper with a pre-punched hole that I can place over the plastic. One, so that I don't scratch the ink on the little charm shape, and two, so that I can be sure that I am getting the hole exactly where I want it. You want to leave about two or three millimeters of plastic around the edge of the hole. For a couple of shapes like the rabbit and the bird, you're going to want to place the hole on a section not on either of the graphics. So be thinking about what part you want to leave on the plastic when you're cutting those shapes out. Now it's time for the fun part. Start out by heating your oven up to between 300 and 350 degrees, then get those little sheets of parchment paper out. Place a charm on the parchment paper and then place the parchment paper in the oven. The plastic will get soft. It'll eventually start to shrink and curl. After a while, it will start to flatten back down. When the charm is almost flat, open up the oven door and remove the parchment paper and the charm. Place it on something flat and heat resistant. Cover it with another sheet of parchment paper and then lay something flat and heavy on top of it as it cools. Once it cools, you can repeat the process all over again for the next charm. Whether or not you decide to put a UV resin coating on your charms, it's a good idea to seal the ink with either a spray or a Mod Podge. This was my first project using UV resin and it was easier than I expected. Do make sure you follow the directions for your brand of resin. Now I worked in a well ventilated area. I wore gloves, glasses, I even had my mask. I also protected my work surface well with paper towels. I also taped some pretty wide tape onto some index cards. This way I made little sticky like baking trays to put my charms on so they wouldn't get away from me. I was a little worried about putting the resin on, but again, it was very easy. It was just kind of like spreading Cairo syrup on top of the charms. My technique was just to put a good amount of resin in the middle of the shape and then use a toothpick to spread it out towards the edges. 
I did make a couple of mistakes. I had the resin spill over the side a time or two and I just cleaned it up with some paper towel. I also had the resin go into the hole of the charm once. That time I had to move the charm off of the tape to clean up, but it ended up being a fixable problem. When the charms were all coated, I got the black light out. Each little tray went under the black light for a couple of minutes until the resin was completely cured. To be on the safe side, I let the charms rest for about 15 minutes before really handling them. Then once I took them off the cards, I noticed I had a few spots on the back of the charms where the resin had got to. So I turned the charms over and put them back under the UV light for a couple of minutes. You could cover the backs with a layer of UV resin, but this type of plastic had a shiny back once it was shrunk. So I just left mine as they were. Well, so here are all my finished charms. I left them under the UV light for a couple of minutes and the resin is nice and hard now. The only thing I need to do is add a jump ring to them and I'm using a six millimeter jump ring. You just twist it open, slide your charm on, and then you can put your charm on to just about anything. I'm putting mine on to another bracelet. This is just a chain bracelet I got from one of the big box stores. And then I thought just to add a little interest to my bracelet, I would add some beads to it. So um, I bought a couple of sizes of beads and then I bought some cute letter beads. Now to make any bead into a charm, all you need to do is use something like one of these um, flat head pins. You kind of thread your bead onto the pin and then you use some round uh, pliers to form a little loop at the top. Now. I'm new to jewelry making, so my little charms and my little wire loops aren't perfect, but once you get them on the bracelet, you'll never know. Well, you guys, that's all I have for this week. I hope you guys are inspired to make a Valentine's project of your own, and I sure appreciate you guys watching. If this is the sort of content you like, please consider liking and subscribing to my channel. That would really help me out. Until next week, you guys take care and happy crafting. Bye-bye.